What's up, everybody, NC? JC, and uh, we got a question everything on the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve, baby. Something that has way too much power in our country. Mm -hmm. It's fucked. It's been fucked for a while, and we're going to talk about how fucked it is. So, JC, my first question is, how much power does the Federal Reserve have over our country? Oh, well, let's put it this way. They literally print the currency that we use. Lovely. So you want to talk about power. Um, <clears throat> when you look at a dollar, like if you ever hold a dollar in your hand, look at the top. It'll say Federal Reserve Note. So how that happens is, is they, they so it, it all goes back to 1910. They were able to, they were able to crash the economy. The, the, elite, the elite bankers basically own the Federal Reserve and they were able to crash the economy back then to then get President Woodrow Wilson to sign on to um, the Federal Reserve actually becoming a thing with the Federal Reserve Act. Yeah. So, what the so Federal, it's pretty much like a private organization yes, that has is, been promoted into this role. It is a private organization, or it's a it, it's a private organization that prints the currency that we use, they, and they loan it out to the American government. Lovely. In exchange for treasury notes. Mm. So, <laughs> wow. It's and we constitutionally have the ability to print our own currency, and we did prior to the Federal Reserve. Yeah. So, um, next question. My next question would be. How involved is Donald Trump in the handlings of the Federal Reserve? So they are technically what's called a quasi-federal agency, meaning the, the president can choose who is the, the, the Federal Reserve um, um, governor. Basically, like okay. the Federal Reserve has like each branch has a governor. Right. Like the board of governors is basically who the, the, um, the, the chairman of the board uh, of – of the Federal Reserve is who the president selects. So they're prone to bribes. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. They basically, the <laughs> the bankers meet up with the president and basically say, hey, this is who we want you to choose. You're going to fucking choose him, you dumb shit. And, yep. he's, and he's like, all right. Yep. Hands are tied. Yep. There he goes. So th that's what they mean by quasi-federal is that the president chooses who is the chairman of the, of the board of governors for the Federal Reserve. Other than that, it's entirely private. Got you. And they loan money to the, to the federal government. Wow. In exchange for treasury notes or, or other, other forms of government um, debt. Okay. So. So basically they have the United States of America by the balls. Yep. And they had ever since 1913. Isn't that wonderful? Yep. Wow. So over a hundred years of having our manhood strangled by these assholes. Well, not only our manhood, but also our money. So <laughs> the Federal Reserve, <laughs> they have devalued the dollar yes. by 97% of what it was back from 1913. Mm. Yeah, back in back in the 1950s, like you can get like a burger for 25 cents. You can get a milkshake for 50 cents. Yeah. Back then. Gasoline, 10 cents a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like more than 10 times, easily more than 10 times that. Yeah. It's like a 250% increase. Pretty much, yeah. It's fucking it's, it's a massive increase. Yeah, it's, it's just insane what has gone down. In prices, yeah. My next question would be, what influence does the Federal Reserve have over other nations, if any? Well, the Federal Reserve invests in other nations. Gotcha. In other words, yeah. So, because <laughs> it's, 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 it's totally private. Right. So, um, yeah. So, I would assume and it's, that... And uh, we got to be honest about the banking families that own it. Right. The banking families that own it also own the Bank of England. They own the Bank of Australia, which the would, European Central Bank. Which would bring me to my next question. Do you think that they're in direct cahoots with the infamous International Bank? Of course they are. Okay. Absolutely. The, 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 the World Bank? The Fuck World yeah. Bank, yes. Fuck yeah. And the, um, the Bank of International Settlements, they own that too. Right. And we're, what we're talking about basically are the people that own the, the, the banking families that own the Federal Reserve, the Rothschilds, the, um, the Rockefellers. The war, but like all these family, the, these elite banking families yes. own all these central banks and, and are all invested in them. They control and, the money. And, and the Federal Reserve is one of them. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Sad to say, folks. There's another quite there's another thing I wanna I want to answer just, no, just to be please go for so it. So there, there's something that Ron Paul, former Congressman Ron Paul, uh, um wanted to do is audit the Fed. Basically just not going to happen. Not going to happen because <laughs> it's, private, it's a private, it's a quasi-federal, pri mostly private uh, They're entity. untouchable. Yeah, not only that, but 
What an idiot. Well, because they want to expose the, the corruption within the Fed. We it's, all know it's corrupt. Well, and not only that, but you fucking assholes got to the position of running for president and yeah. running for being a candidate in the first place is because you did dirty shit. Yeah. Who are you to say that they're doing dirtier shit than you? You're, you're all doing dirty shit. Yeah. At that point, it's like you're trying to sell out your own. That's probably why they went after JFK so fucking hard back in the day. Because it's like, we hooked you up, motherfucker. The fucking mob hooked you up, and that's how you're going to fucking play well, them? Well, not only that, but, like, uh, we also got to talk about something else, too. Sure. Fractional reserve lending. Okay. So, basically, what that is is that the Federal Reserve uh, mandates that they must have a, a certain reserve on hand, like, like a certain amount of money saved aside, like, when they loan out money. So, like, for example, let's say they loan out $10 billion. Uh, they would need to keep uh, 10% of that in reserve, right? Here's the funny right. thing that they do. This is fractional reserve lending. They'll, they'll just create like another nine billion out of nothing. Jesus, right out of that. And so they inflate numbers. They come up with shit out of nowhere. They're Bingo. magicians. Well, yeah, especially now since since they now uh, the banking system is becoming more and more digitized. Right. They just they can they can just print these. That, that's what they do. Is that like when they when they exchange money to the to the the treasury? Yeah, the United States Treasury in exchange for for Federal Reserve notes. What it, that's all digital now. Right. They they don't they don't exchange physical notes. They don't need to. They don't need to. Yeah, they can change numbers when needed. Bit, just on a keyboard, just bit, 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 enter. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Uh, well, so it's, like, it's it's the reason why blockchain is so easily manipulatable. Yeah. All, all these digital currencies are. What I would really recommend, guys, if you really want to go further down the rabbit hole on fractional now, reserve lending. Now, before we get into that, I wanted to really ask you about why do you think JFK was so adamant about taking out the Federal Reserve. What was the main reason? Oh, because he, he was not totally controlled. He was basically, he was, a, he was a product of privilege his entire life. And yeah. when he got in, I think he wanted to do good. Yeah. But then he, he realized who really ran this country. Right. The banks that own the Federal Reserve or the banking families that own the Federal Reserve own the, also own the CIA and own our government. Right. Everything's controlled. And he found it out the hard way. <laughs> He found out the hard way that you don't try to end the Fed, which is what he was going to do. He was basically going to going to basically outlaw the Fed and, and allow the government to um, create its own currency again. Right. So they had to yeah. take care of him. And if anything, that was basically telling every other presidential candidate after that, shut your fucking mouth. And don't you dare. Don't you dare try to uh, um, replace the Fed. Yeah. They're, they're there to stay, buddy. Yeah. So... That has been our question. Everything on the evil entity known as the Federal Reserve that has completely devalued the American dollar to just shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, NC. JC and. Peace out.